Hello and welcome to The Real Deal. Now, as many actors know, it's really tough to make that transition from the small to the big screen. Just ask our good friend, Matt LeBlanc. Precisely, but that's exactly what Zach Braff of Scrubs fame is trying to do in new comedy drama, Wish I Was Here. The movie charts the tale of a family going through monetary issues and problems with mortality. But before we find out a little bit more, let's have a look at a clip. Welcome to Aston Martin. Now, kids, it's really about what it sounds like when you floor it from a full stop. There will be no flooring it from a full stop. No, sir. Thank you. I really liked this film. Oh, what a relief. You never normally do. I know. I must, <laughs> I must say, I was surprised that I liked it. Um, it's written by starring and directed by Zach Braff. Ah, triple threat. Um, triple threat, exactly. And I must say, I normally find him a very irritating screen presence. He's not, it's actually a really nice performance. He plays Aidan Bloom. Um, who... Why, sorry, why do, why do you find him irritating? Oh, he's very annoying. <laughs> In Scrubs, JD is just this neurotic, zany, irritating little burke, basically. Oh, the reasons he? why it did really well. Okay, interesting. Yeah, um, <laughs> it, well, I don't know, not really my cup of tea. Okay, so say. we, yeah, all right. Um, so. But he's in it, and he plays Aidan Bloom, who's a struggling actor. Um, his wife is played by Kate Hudson, who, of course, we associate he's quite... well. Quite, we associate, <laughs> well, yeah, I did think that. Um, we associate them quite a lot with uh, her with rom-coms and mm. things like that, a bit like Matthew McConaughey a few years ago, um, seen, as famously stated in posters, leaning on people. Um, mm. That's what they do, just like, hey, these crazy guys get together, sparks will fly. <laughs> um, she's in it, she's very good as well. Um, we also have um, his brother, who's played by Josh Gad, mm -hmm. and Mandy Patinkin, <gasps> Patinkin, however pa, I say pa, 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 pa. Saul from Homeland Saul, is all you need to know. Saul of Homeland, um, who is the patriarch of this family unit. And it's just beautifully acted. It's a really, it's, it's beautifully written as well, I must say. It's very real, it avoids Hollywood cliches. It's a very small story. Basically, it's not giving anything away to say that the father is dying. Mm. And it's about how his two sons come to terms with that. And also how um, Aidan Bloom, i.e. Zach Braff, is able to reconcile the idea that he might not be able to support his family whilst following his dream of being a successful actor. It's not a big glamorous story. No, but, but it's, it's a story that's been told quite a few times. In yeah, a way. but it's just because it's because the dialogue is so real mm. and because the performances are so subtle and so realistic, it just works. And it's Brilliant. a really, it's a really, really nice film. And as I say, it's, it's beautifully acted and feels very, very real, which you don't get a lot with, with big movies. Okay, so that sounds like it's quite a nice film. What mm. are the kind of stickler bits? I know you don't really like Zach Braff, Scrubs, all that kind of stuff wasn't really a cup of tea. I did like Scrubs, it's just nine series in, it's like, we get it, he daydreams and falls over. Um, <laughs> he's very good and he shows a much greater emotional range in this. Mm. Um, and he still manages to be funny, but in quite a, a, a subtle way. As, as if you can, you can put yourself in his kid's position and think, oh, like, dad's funny. Yeah. Problems with this film are, he's a bit scared to abandon his comedy roots. So it's a very touching story about a dying father and how everybody comes to terms with estranged relationships and all that sort of thing. But there's elements of slapstick comedy in there. So there's a bit where a rabbi goes into a wall on a Segway. What? Is it kind of just almost overly playing on the light relief that you need with a really somber storyline? Well, it's they just, just kind of got that balance a bit wrong. It's like, hey, listen, I'm doing something a bit more serious, but hey, watch this rabbi smash into yeah. the wall. <laughs> and I don't think you need that. I think it detracts from it. I think it's it's funny in, in a nice, realistic way. So to have those moments of slapstick in there cheapens it a little bit. Oh, it's a shame. Um, I must say that that is a slight problem. Also, he's, he's clearly a bit scared to move away from Scrubs because Donald Faison, i.e. Turkoff Scrubs, makes a cameo. Because he's desperately trying to go from the small screen to the big screen, exactly. maybe. <laughs> and they have a whole sequence in a car where it's like something that's lifted directly out of a Scrubs episode. Uh. And I don't think, A, that slapstick needs to be in there, and I don't think you need to have cameos from people who we directly associate with the project you're trying to escape yeah. from. See, the thing is, is that we found that as well with Let's Be Cops. Yeah. Because the pairing in that is so similar to New Girl, and it's just like an extended version yeah. of New Girl. So maybe there's a trend at the moment in Hollywood that this is something that's cool to do. It's not working, guys. Well, no, it's <laughs> not, because it's like, oh, so Zach Braff can do something different oh no wait there's Turk yeah it okay. kind of doesn't work and that 
detracts from what was otherwise a really lovely film. Oh, what a shame. Okay, so we've had some good, we've had some bad. What's the real deal on this? Um, it showed something that I didn't know Zach Braff had, mm. both as um, a writer and as an actor, I suppose. Mm. Um, the direction is nothing to, to write home about, especially. But it's actually a really beautifully written and acted story. As I said, elements of slapstick comedy that just do not need to be there um, and detract from it a little bit. And that's what makes it a three and a half star film. <sighs> So just above average, good stuff. Well, that's the real deal on Wish I Was Here. Now you can catch up with more movie news and entertainment updates here on TheRealDealOnFilm.com and also tweet us at The Real Film Show. Thanks for watching. <laughs>